Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the Amuna Center. Long distance. Um, last night was something amazing. I went to the forest at night and uh, it was amazing. And ever since I got married two and a half months ago, thank God, it's been like, you know, I've, obviously life changes like a lot and I've realized I was like, hey, I can't just leave the house whenever I want and go to the forest and for an hour in the middle of the night, you know, like it's not working out anymore. So I have to find times to do in the morning, to do in the middle of the day. And and um, I, lo I used to love it, like going to the forest at night when I was single all the time. I moved here to like live five minutes away just because I wanted to like kind of live like close to the forest because it was my favorite place to go. It was like my playground over there. I just felt so at home. And Yerushalayim is beautiful forests here. And um, so I was finally able to go last night. My wife, like she had to, I don't know, she had to study for a test or something. She had to study for a psychology test in college. So I went to the forest to study psychology um, with Hashem. And it's something so amazing. And it reminded me, it reminded me how beautiful Hitbo de Dut really is. And it reminded me like the difference between Hitbo de Dut and Tefillah. And because I went out there and I, I ran, I went, walked like as fast as I could because I had an hour. So I had like 15 minutes to get there, half an hour there, and then 15 minutes back, and like it was going to be good, right? And when I got there, I was just standing in the same place, just breathing, just standing there, just feeling like being alone with Hashem. And I, I remembered what it was like to be alone with Hashem. And a lot of times, like we get. We. He'd go to do the time where you're alone with Hashem is an amazing time for tefillah. It's an amazing time to pray when you're alone with the Creator, so it's an amazing time to pray. But not to like forget that the main thing is that I'm there alone with the Creator. And if you manage to pray during that time, it's an amazing thing. But even if you don't pray, it's the same thing. The main thing is that you're going, the word Hitbo de Dut means being alone. Bodet is alone, Hitbo de Dut is like the, I don't know, I didn't go to college, so I don't know the term for that, but like the state of being alone, right? And that's like the, the main thing of it's to do it is just going and being alone with Hashem. And a lot of times, like, I tell this to people and I forgot to do it myself, that like a lot of times like someone's like, okay, on my way to work, I can do it. And on my way back, I can do it. And I get 15 minutes and 15 minutes and it's it's good, you know. But that's tefillah. It's a beautiful thing. Like um, a friend of ours from Florida, he used to like always do his hour like on the way to the gym. It was like an hour walk. So he would do his 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 hour of Hitbo to do while he was walking to the gym and it's an amazing thing obviously whatever you can do you can do but but I was I told him I was like that's tefillah if you're praying for an hour that's amazing personal prayer for an hour is an amazing thing but Hitbo to do is being alone with Hashem and you can't do that in your car in traffic you're not alone you can have amazing tefillah you can have amazing prayers and you can get answers from those prayers but you're not in that state of being alone with Hashem on your walk to the gym on your walk to work, on your walk here, while you're walking around here, it's an amazing time. You can pray all day long. But to be alone with Hashem, you have to be alone with Hashem. You have to be in a place where you're alone. So um, it just it just like reminded me that and how valuable it was. Like all day, that's what I was missing because I've been like super stressed out like the past the past month because I haven't had that being alone with Hashem. I've had a lot of tefillah every day. I'm still doing my hour. I'm still doing my hour. I'm still making sure I'm praying every day and on the subjects that I'm doing and making sure every day I have the hour. But it's prayer, which is an amazing thing, but it's not the Hitbo to do. And the advice of Rabbi Nachman and the advice of is Hitbo to do, to go be alone with Hashem. And if you look at, um, it's not in here, it's in Likute, it's so, but if you look at where Rabbi Nachman talks about Hitbo to do, the first thing he says is to take time to go be alone with Hashem. And he says, and if during that time Hashem opens your heart and you manage to pray to Him, it's, it's an amazing, amazing thing if you manage to pray to Hashem during that time. But even just the preparation of going and saying, I'm going to be alone with Hashem for an hour, that itself is also an amazing, amazing thing. And also, I wanted to develop this idea more, but I'm going to keep talking. Um, so hopefully it'll come out well. That He says two things. He says, open your heart to Hashem. He doesn't say, pr he doesn't say um, I wish I had the exact wording. I actually do have the exact wording. I'm not going to find it right now super quickly. Um, where is it? Basically, he says that you should pour out your heart in front of Hashem. And I noticed like there's a difference between, there's two ways you can present like an issue to Hashem. There's two ways you can present an issue to Hashem. You can present it as what you're going through, or you can present it as what you need help with. 
And it's a very fine line, but it, it, it depends on the kind of connection you're going to have with Hashem, right? And so you can either you can either tell Hashem, like, look, Hashem, this month, I don't know. I need you to give me the rent. I need 4,700 shekels for the rent, and I'm going to need another 300 for the property tax, and I need the money for this. And then Hashem also, like, I, I need to, you know, have success in this area, and also my wife needs an iPhone 6, and also, yeah, it's a true story. And also, uh, what do you do? She needs it. I can't, I can't deny it anymore. She needs it. And um, so whatever, you can go and tell Hashem, look, this is what I need and this is what I need. And that's amazing tefillah. The fact that you're going to Hashem for what you need, it's an amazing thing. Of course, you're doing the right thing. You're, you're found the right way to get what you need. But the, the way it's worded from Rabbi Nachman is that he says, and go and pour out your heart in front of Hashem. So what's the difference? Instead of telling Hashem, Hashem, I need 4,700, I need you to give me 4,700 shekel, you have everything, please give me 4,750 shekel, please give me the, the wisdom to make my wife happy, please give me... You can ask to give or you can tell Him what your problems are. So one of them is asking for what you need and the other is opening your heart, Hashem, look, I'm struggling every month, I'm not managing to have the money that I need every month, Hashem, I'm not... You know, I'm not treating my wife as well as I really want to. I'm not, I, I want to be able to get my wife something that's going to make her happy. I know how much it's going to make her happy and I'm not able to get it. So it's a very fine thing, but you're doing something very different. One, you're asking Hashem for what you need. And the other one, you're sharing with Hashem. And it, it's a lot more like personal thing that, and like I said, I didn't like fully develop this idea. It just started coming to me in the forest when I realized like the difference between Hitboradud and Tfilah. And that, for example, if you have like a really, really good friend who, who has the ability to help you, you have two things. You can either ask him for a thousand dollars or you can tell him about your situation that he's going to offer you that tell you, give you the thousand dollars. But it depends on like the kind of relationship you have with him. If you have with him a relationship of a person who can give me what I need. So you tell him what you need and he gives it to you. No problem. It's a beautiful thing. But it's an even deeper relationship if you can just tell your friend and just like as a friend, look, this is what I'm going through. This is my situation. This didn't work out. I'm stressed out over here. And since he's your friend, he's going to give it to you. So it's a it's a little different thing and I again like I'm not taking this point like all the way to the end but I think everyone can kind of like understand from like a personal thing like there's there's different ways to to pray there's different ways and especially during your hitbo to do to like find that way that that builds you the connection to Hashem and um so anyway I just wanted to like to share that that like hitbo to do it's not praying for what you need of course it's an amazing thing to pray for what you need and hitbo to do is the best time to pray for what you need but also, don't get like caught up like uh, Revolt for Error is a huge, he's a student of Berlin also, he's a genius. I think he used to be like a nuclear physicist and then he became Jose Bichuva. Anyway, Revolt for Error, he says that, he's like, when you go to Hitbo to do it, he said, you don't go like you're going to war. He said, don't go, okay, five minutes on this, 15 minutes on this, 20 minutes on this, ask for this, make sure this, do this, and then come back. He said, go to Hitbo to do it, he said, and he's a huge tzaddik, he's a huge, he knows everything. What does he do his first five minutes? He said, what I do is I breathe for five minutes. He said, I don't talk, I don't ask for anything. He said, I just go and I breathe for five minutes. And we're talking about a huge, huge person. And so, um, like, again, I just wanted to, like, bring up that 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 point that, like, Hitburudu means being alone with Hashem. And if you don't manage to find that time every day, if, like, look, you, you have this hour where you're able to be out of your house and you have a walk that you have to go half an hour there, half an hour back, amazing. Every day, pray during that time. But take once a week, and it was beautiful actually, because I was like, this is what I need. I was in the forest, it was quiet, I was breathing, I was breathing in the crisp air. It was it was so perfect, and I was like, this is what I need. And I was like thinking, I was like, maybe I could do this like once a week. You know, I was like, I can't obviously leave, I'm newly married, I can't just leave my wife every night. But I was thinking, I was like, maybe once a week we can like work something out. And I was trying to think of a way that I'll work something out that, that I can go once a week, and I'll bring another friend, and then our wives can hang out or something like that. And and they can learn together. I was like thinking in my head like a way I can make this happen. And then as soon as I got home, my wife, she's like, she saw like how happy I was. She's like, maybe you should do that like once a week, you know, like you really need it at night. And um, so even if you can't do like every day to go find a quiet place and go to the forest, let's say you don't live near a park, you live in, I don't know, Manhattan, you don't live, Central Park is not necessarily a good place to be alone. Um, so, so even if you don't live, it's hard for you, you can't every day go. So maybe even if you just take once a week, you go drive to the lake, go drive and you stay there for half an hour, for an hour. It doesn't even need to be your hour. It's just a time to be alone with Hashem. Forget about praying for what you need. Just 
a time to be alone with Hashem. You could do once a month. Let's say once a month, you could take a trip that you planned before and you worked everything out, that you go to the forest for an hour, you drive there and you come back. It's an amazing, amazing thing. Like just take time to be alone with Hashem and don't worry about Pray every day and also make sure you're alone with Hashem sometimes, alone. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Click over here and subscribe. Click over here and see another awesome video where I actually got that iPhone 6 that I was talking about that I needed for my wife. I got it in the end, thank God. So I told the story in that video over there. So go ahead and click on that. And if you have any questions for me, comments on the video, topics you want me to talk about next, please leave those in the comments below and I'll do my best to make a video for you on that topic. And of course, check us out at amunachannel.com. That's amunachannel.com. I will put that in the description below. Awesome website. It's why I do everything that I do. Lots of other inspiration, blogs, music, all sorts of cool classes and stuff up there. So check that out. And um, click on one of the buttons. Alright, have an awesome day. Go talk to Hashem, right? Spend some time with him. Go talk to Hashem. Talk to Hashem. It's a good thing to do. That's what I'm gonna go do. I'm gonna go right now and do that. I'm just gonna crawl under the camera and do that. Still here.